if you just leveled to 100, maybe getting back into the PvP scene, or you just want a refresher on the BM Hunter, you're in the right place. Stay tuned. Hey guys, Ravenclaw here. Thanks for joining me as we go through my BM Hunter PvP guide. Now, as you see on the left-hand side of the screen, there's a menu there. Just click on the section that you're most interested in. Otherwise, sit back and relax and we'll go through this guide together. If you have any questions, hit that comment section up down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Okay, so post haste is the first talent I choose. It is great for a speed boost when you disengage. Also, it breaks any snares that you're stuck in. For example, up against RMD, where the mage roots you down, break right out of that, take some cover, get back into the fight. Okay, the next tier is very situational. If I'm running in a comp, say like Jungle Cleave, where there's a lot of stuns going on, I will take Wyvern Sting. You don't want to be DRing your team. Otherwise, your CC chains will not stick. Wyvern Sting with some stuns, you won't DR and you'll keep that CC chain rolling. It is also good if you want to land your traps. If you're not really comfortable with landing traps, Wyvern Sting from a range, you can also move while you cast this, lock down that target, trap him out. Okay, up next we have Spirit Bond and Iron Hawk. Spirit Bond I take most of the time. It refunds 2% of your health every two seconds, which is great for those long fights. Otherwise, I take Iron Hawk if I'm running with my healer to take 10% less damage and help that healer out. Up next, we have Thrill of the Hunt or Dire Beast. Thrill of the Hunt I choose all the time for the reduced focus cost on my arcane shots. Now, this gives you three procs, and I think it has about a 6% chance of procking. Um, other than that, Running Dire Beast is great for the focus refund, but remember, another pet, okay, you get extra damage, but it can be kited. Murder of Crows is the only one I take here. It does an amazing amount of damage. You, once, as soon as you dot someone with Murder of Crows, those guys will just go to town on someone. Pair that up with a uh, Burst Trinket, and bam. That is a lot of damage going out. Stampede, that is basically only really good for duels because it takes a 25% damage reduction in battlegrounds and arenas. So remember that. Level 90 tier. I only take Barrage as a BM Hunter. When I go Survival, I switched out to Glaive Toss for the slows and the snares. Uh, other than that, yeah. Barrage is great for some AOE pressure. Now, remember, you have to be careful. If you've trapped someone and you've turned to another target, and yeah, it's okay, you can unload that barrage into their face, but if you're still facing your trapped target, they're gonna get hit, bam, your trap is broken. Gotta be careful with this one. So the last talent I take is Adaption. This is the only one I take in this tier for this reason right here. You get a mixture of talents from all the pet specs, but most importantly is Roar of Sacrifice for that damage reduction. If you've got someone bursting you or your teammates down, you pop that onto whoever's getting the damage, bam, you ruin their burst as much as you can. Also, this allows you to switch your pet from Cunning to Ferocity for that extra damage. Okay, so the glyphs that I take. In the first slot here is one that I switch out. I've got Glyph Liberation at the moment, which gives me a 4% heal every time I disengage. You know, it, it could be the difference between life or death sometimes. Just mucking around with this one. The next one is Solid. I keep this all the time and so should you. This one allows your Explosive Trap to literally explode people away. Some advantages of this are when you drop it down, you can pull Stealthies out of Stealth. Uh, say a healer is about to cast a, a spell but it's uninterruptible, you drop that down, you immediately knock them away, interrupting that spell, things like that. Last one here, I've got Animal Bond. As you can see, it increases all the healing done to you by 
This isn't great for your healer, especially when you get into dampening for those long fights. Now, some other ones you could choose really. Uh, what have we got here? Mirror Blades, you know, which is like a spell reflect. When you chuck that up, say Kale Bolton coming your way, flip them up, send it right on back to the Warlock. Um, another one, Solace, which is another one that I swap into. If you're running like a bleed heavy comp, like Jungle Cleave, you drop that on there, removes everything from that target. I suppose it's good and bad. Let's see how you feel. But if it's, if it's the difference between a, a win or a loss, takes all that off, lands your trap, and it doesn't break the trap from those dots. Tranquilizing shot, I don't really take. I mean, you can if you want to purge a lot, but it's a 40%, uh, 40 focus cost that comes with that. And you got some other ones along here. Uh, Glyph of Clamouf Camouflage too, so when you're moving, you don't get seen while in stealth, but you move 50% slower. These are all ones to play with. I suggest taking a look at these, seeing which one you feel the best with, and then from there, take into the arena and go, from, go for gold. Okay, now we're on to gear and stats. I'll just hover over all my gear that I have, so that way you can pause the video, have a look at what I've got, and then match it up. What I will talk about though, is what stats I stack the most. And as a BM hunter, you want to stack mastery. Mastery is your main source of damage here. Now, following mastery, you want to go for versatility. Um, after that, then you probably go for some critical strike, and then I'd say multi strike after that. Now, I could be wrong, but this is what I've stacked, and it's been working well for me so far. Um, now, also for enchants on your neck, rings, and back piece, you want to go for mastery, but there are people out there that will go for versatility. I'll leave this one up to you. Try both if you've got the cash. See which one that you feel is the best. Now, lastly, for your bow or gun or whatever you've chosen, you want to get the attachment, which is the Hemet Heart Seeker. This will allow, when it procs, let me see if I can get it to proc over here. Right here. You can see when it procs, it gives you 750 mastery. Now, this is better than the Bleeding Hollow, I believe it is, which only gives you 500. And at the moment on my server, it only goes for, I think, 75 gold. Go figure. <laughs> but yeah, so that's what I run for my... Um, for my gear and my stats. Now, the pet stats, which I'll get into more in the next section, I run Ferocity. Uh, Ferocity purely because I've taken that glyph, we, uh, talent we spoke about earlier, which is Adaption. That way I get a little bit more extra damage out of my pet. Okay, moving on to pet buffs. Now, here's a list of the different buffs that each pet brings. The main ones that I focus on are the Spirit Blessing, which is from your Spirit Beast, your exotic pets. Um, the Critical Strike and the Martyria are from um, just your normal Spirit Beasts. The Devil Saw brings Critical Strike and also does the Mortal Wounds effect on the uh, enemy target. Um, and I usually run the Shimmerer too, which gives a slow, a, a, I think it's a 70% slow. And that brings to the table a multi-strike buff. Now remember which pet you choose is very situational to the comp that you're running. Find out the comp that you're running first, then decide which pet will bring the most to the table. So if you've got a Shaman Healer, remember they have Mastery buff. So there's no point having a Spirit Beast. You may as well run the Devil Saw. So keep that in mind and when you're you're choosing your team and then that'll allow you to think of what pet that you want to chuck out. If you guys want me to do a more in-depth guide on the pets and where to get them and all that, just let me know down in the comments. So for my macros, I don't I don't have a heap. 
but just the main ones that'll help me out in those those dire situations for example I have my target player target uh, party one and target party two master's call which is a freedom so that way I can simply switch between players without having to lose my target I can just simply send my pet at the one I want to go for by pressing one button. Um, next we'll have Raw Sacrifice, same deal as Party 1, Party 2 and myself. I'll just cast the Raw Sacrifice on whoever's getting targeted and uh, getting hurt the most. I also have a heal one as well for the Spirit Beast's um, Spirit Mend. It'll just target me or target my other player, I only use that for twos really. Um, I have my explosive trap now what this does is let's say I'm casting uh, what have I got? casting a shot here right Cobra shot but someone's coming between me and my target what I can do is I can just click that it'll immediately cut my shot off and allow me to drop the trap straight away same with my freezing trap cuts it straight off and drop it down Another thing that this particular macro does, let me pull this guy away. Another thing that my macro does, if you notice down here, it says cast the trap launcher if it's not already up. So if I get rid of it, this has been great because there's been many times we've opened up the doors to the arena and I might have changed the talent pre game or whatever and I've forgotten to put my trap launcher back on. Now, I do play around my trap launcher too, so I don't have to cast it, I can drop it down. But, using this macro, if I use it, you'll see that it activates my trap launcher, and then that way, it's there for the whole game. I can do what I want with it then. Um, I've also got my stop casting focus. I keybind these two, I cut the normal focus, uh, the normal, um, counter shot which I shoot for the target I'm on but I always have one for my focus on another button so that way I when I see him casting or we need to get the kill I can simply just smack it and done now this is my main shot my main obviously your arcane shots and attack here so you can see that I have a pet attack so that way it'll attack the target that I'm on uh, it'll obviously cast your arcane shot but it'll also I use this because it's my main attack It'll allow me to focus who I want pre-game. So let's say I've got a healer in slot two, but it's a druid. Now, if I set it and it goes into stealth, the focus immediately gets taken off and then you have to go and click and set another focus or whatever you need to do. Having this here, I don't have to worry about that. I can just keep fighting and my focus will always be up when he comes back out of stealth. Um, there are flares, you can see there's a stop casting flare here. I've got to stop deterrence too, so if I need to deter but my target's about to die, I can click it again and it will take it off. Um, my burst macro here, I only focus really on Bestial Wrath, Murder of Crows and my burst trinket. Um, I put this in here but I don't think it really works, so I might have to take that one out. And Stampede really only for jewels and mucking around. Um, I did write this little script too. I don't, well, I didn't write it. I've obviously found it on the internet, but this one here, it allows you just to toggle the map on and on, which is a cool little keybind if you wanted to have that. And those are pretty much my main macros that I use to help me out in arenas. Um, if you want any more macros or if you have an idea of a macro that you want written, let me know because um, other than a gamer, I am actually a programmer, so I will be more than happy to write one up for you or you just let me know, write down the comments and um, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Okay, so what I'll do real quick now is I'll just show you a, a simple rotation that you can use Mostly it's a burst rotation and then everything after that is just, you know, rinse and repeat pretty much. Um, so basically, if you're in stealth, you've come up to a target just here, okay, you're opening up, you want to pop your burst macro to get all them, you know, all that power flowing. 
then what you want to do is you want to hope that obviously if your procs all line up as well which you'll see just here so when i pop my burst macro you can see i've already got my proc here you just want to spam arcane shot but then you want to make sure you do kill command straight up into a barrage arcane shot arcane shot and then what you want to do is you want to hit another kill command by the end of that try not Try not to do a Cobra shot in the middle of your burst because that's just a waste. And hopefully, when let's say, obviously when you've just started and you're opening up on a target and you're going to burst them down, if you can see I did 1.6 million in one burst. 1.16, sorry. And obviously when you're coming back around, you should have that focus fire stacks up. If that's the case, hit them first then go into because that gives your attack power a huge boost and haste okay use that and then hit them up all right guys thanks for joining me today and watching my bm hunter guide now if you did enjoy it leave a comment hit that like button and subscribe for many more to come if you have any questions let me know other than that i'll catch all you guys later